Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how we can create fillets and chamfers within 1CNC. Now, I'll demonstrate this using wireframe geometry as well as using solid models. For this, we're going to start with wireframe geometry, and you can see what I've done is I've just sketched a real simple rectangle here. Now, let's say we want to create a fillet in these four corners. Well, to do that, we take our cursor, move it over here to the left-hand side of the screen, and select Arc. And from Arc, what you want to do is grab the fillet command. Now because my screen capture area is so small, we're just seeing the icons here. On your system, you're going to see something that looks more like this. All right, and there's your fillet command. I'm going to drag my screen back to the size that it was. So I'm going to come up and grab the fillet command. And when I do that, you'll see it says fillet radius. This is where you type in your fillet value. I'm going to put in 0.75. Now at this point, you just take your cursor into the drawing area, and you simply just left click or select two entities. And it doesn't matter which direction you go. In this example, I'm going to left click the horizontal line, I'm going to come over to the vertical line, and then I'll left click and it creates the fillet. Let's do the same thing down here. I'm going to left click. As I hover over that line, it gives me a preview. If I move over here, it gives me a preview. If I like what I see, I just simply left hand mouse click. It's really, really simple to do. Now another thing you can do is this. I'm going to left click, and there's my preview. Let's say I look at the preview and I decide that that fillet's too large. I can head over here, put in a different value come back over here, once CNC remembers where I left off, I can left click, and then when I'm finished, I can right hand mouse click. So creating fillets are very, very simple within one CNC. Now I'm going to undo these fillets by just hitting Control Z, like Control Zebra on the keyboard. That's just like hitting your undo button. And let's look at chamfers now. This works exactly the same way. I'm going to head over here to the main toolbar. I'm going to select line, and from here I'm going to grab the chamfer command. So just like with fillet, you just type in your distance here. I'm going to type in a chamfer distance of one inch, and it works exactly the same way. Left click and left click. Very, very simple. And of course, you have the ability to always come back over here, put in a different value, and continue on. Really, really simple to do. Uh, this chamfer distance is the distance from here to here, to where the original corner was. That's your chamfer distance right there. It's not the hypotenuse. All right. So there we go, that's using wireframe geometry. Now why don't we extrude this. Let's take a look now at creating fillets and chamfers with a solid model. So I'm going to extrude this down about an inch, right about there. Okay. Now you don't need this wireframe geometry. See the blue wireframe geometry that we originally had? You don't need that uh, to create fillets and chamfers. All you, if you're working with a solid model, all you need is just the solid model. So let's demonstrate. I'm going to get rid of this uh, wireframe geometry. And again, it's something that you don't have to have. In fact, you don't even need to delete it, but I'm just doing this to make things a little easier. So I'll select that and delete it. So now all we have is just this uh, uh, solid piece here. Let's start with a fillet. Now to do that, what you do is head over here to the main toolbar and select Model Tools. And here you'll find the fillet command. All right, so I'm going to grab the fillet command different options up here. There's a standard fillet, then there's a variable fillet. All right, These commands definitely are for working with the solid model. This is fillet all edges on the model. Okay, And then you have some commands here for filleting and working with surfaces. Now this is not a surface. This is a solid model. This is like a bar of soap. It's completely solid. All right, So let's go with the standard fillet and let's make this have about 250 thousandths. And I'm going to grab that edge, and that edge, and that edge. And if I'm happy with that, I just right hand mouse click, and then one CNC creates the fillet in there. I'm going to undo that with Control Z. All right, and let's take a look. We'll go back in here, and this time I'm going to just grab all these edges up at the top. Now, if these edges were tangent, if you had tangent geometry, one CNC would select all the geometry that's tangent. But in this example, you can see all these corners. There's no tangency there. So I had to manually select each one of those edges. Let's undo, undo that with a Control-Z. We'll go back in here. How about a variable fillet? We're going to start at 250, and why don't we end at 100 thousandths? We'll click OK to that. I'm going to grab that edge, right hand mouse click, and then there's a variable fillet. Let's undo that. And then the other fillet option in here is the fillet all edges. You just select your model, and then one CNC will fill it all of that. Okay, so that's using a fillet. Now, putting a chamfer on a solid model works exactly the same way. You go back in here, but instead of selecting the fillet, you go with chamfer. All right, and it works exactly the same way. You put in your chamfer distance. I'll put in 250, and I'm going to just grab these edges up here at the top. I'm just left hand mouse clicking those edges, and when I'm done, I just right hand mouse click, and that executes the command. 
All right, so creating fillets and chamfers within one CNC, very, very simple. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.